All right, hopefully this is a recording showing you how to extract audio from a MP3 file. Uh, just in this case, we're going to be taking individual tracks out of Peter's recordings. So we've opened up a file here from, from the vault. It's a uh, an old one. And we've got it open here in uh, MPEG Direct Cut. I'm just going to minimize this window in the background because it seems to make things run a bit smoother. Uh, this MPEG Direct Cut program, when you open a file folder, the uh, space bar is your stop and go, so space to play, space to stop. To go through the file, you can either use the mouse, but in this case it's probably easier to use the page up and page down buttons, so you can jump. Every time you press it, it jumps through by about 10 seconds. And we're looking for... There's Peter yakking away. So he's about to introduce the song. You can't see it clearly on this particular file. Sometimes it's really obvious. It's not on this one, though. Uh, when we get to the exact beginning of the song, we press the letter B. So, B for beginning. Alright, that should be about right, I think. can identify smoke on the water pretty easy. can go to the beginning of that selection just to, to make sure. Hit the space bar. Definitely is the correct, uh, correct start for that track. Now what we're going to do is... Uh, go through to the end. Now there's a couple of ways. I'm going to just leave it playing. I'm going to press the page down. I know this song, so I know it's going to end anyway. It's quite a long song. You can see it's... I'm now using... Ah, sorry. You can see it's fairly obvious where this song finishes. I'm going to use the arrow keys just to get to the end rapidly. And it sounds like it's about finished there, so I'm going to press the letter N and the space bar to stop it. So you can see now I've highlighted pretty much a whole song there. It's a fairly long track too. So now I'm pretty happy we can just save it as it is. If you want to double check you could hit the beginning track and play it. Uh, to save it just go save selection and then call it whatever you like. Um, I haven't been bothering giving them names. I've just been numbering them so I'm not even sure what number I'm up to. Let's just guess 500 for now, or 501. So 501 for the first track there. And we're done. Now we can go to the next one. Um, and repeat the process. Pretty much we'll start hitting the play. B for beginning. Sometimes it misses it. There we go. Got it the second time. And just scrolling through again. Ready for the letter N when we get to the end of that track. We're lucky that Peter never cross-faded tracks, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, save selection, and then call it whatever, 502, I guess. And then I'll go to there. You've got a very close crossover, so I might just press the B straight away. And then I know this track, War of the Worlds. Sad song, Moody Blues, I think. And we'll save that selection as well. Save selection as 503. There you go, three songs done in however long we've been recording. And that's pretty much it. So just do that for each of these tracks. When you finish getting them all out, you can just delete them off, delete the original off, YouTube, off, uh, off the computer. And then we'll feed these other tracks into Zara and she will add them to the collection. And I think that's all you need to know for now. This uh, is the similar concept also for doing podcasts where you want to get the start and end from the logging files. Okay.